or something? No, it's like the 13th. The 14th. Oh, I need no, 14th. No, no, no. I mean, this goes up next Oh, you're summer. right. Oh, you're yeah. Right. Damn. Uh, Something like that. Yeah, yes. it was November. Today's the 14th. The 22nd. I'm going to say the 22nd. All right. No, I don't know. I don't know. Today's Tuesday. I thought today was Sunday. Today's Tuesday. It's the 14th, so <laughs> Sunday. It goes up the 19th. <laughs> the 19th. November 19th. That's and what I Happy said. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. We just split the difference. It is yeah. the pre-Thanksgiving episode. Yeah. And our nation is at war. Or no, I guess that's the next yeah. one. With North Korea. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Everybody out there, the eight-year-olds of Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah. well, year it's going to be a good 2018. The eight boys of Hanukkah. <laughs> yeah. You get a boy every night of Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a one-year-old on the first night. Oh, shit. You know. Oh, nice stuff. Uh, we got, uh, let's introduce our guest. We got Tim Dillon here today. Thanks Adam, for coming. Yeah. Adam <coughs> Suter. Adam yes, Stanley Adam Suter. <laughs> my, yeah. My it's very tough. I was going to come on and just. Caller. I was going to come on and just talk about, like, Please raping do. Adam. But then, like. <laughs> This week's been a very no, tough week you for have, that type of fine. humor. You, you, you have can to. still sexually yeah. harass straight Let's white Let's say man. how yeah. you when would want to rape That's him. true. That's a great point. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. are a straight white devil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> On your knees. <laughs> I am a Yakubian. <laughs> yeah. When you drug and rape Adam, I'll yeah. come to your defense. and I'll, I appreciate yeah, it. You, when your your public apology can say, Nick said it was okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate both of you as character. Nick said it was funny. for sure. Yeah. And that means we do character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The UCB rape trial of Aaron Glazer brought in character. Nobody even saw how she was addressed. <laughs> <laughs> she was asking for it. Yeah. <laughs> a mini skirt, come on. The rape <laughs> that's, trial. A, that's the character. I would, if that, I would, and I don't go to UCB a lot, but if they had a rape trial of Aaron Glazer, I would be there every night, <laughs> sitting in the front row, like, how, like just g- g- donating money. Like, how can I support this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't drink, but I buy beers for the entire audience. Ju- yeah, we just keep going to yeah. improv shows. Oh, yeah. right. Rape trial. Yeah. <laughs> we need a location. Need a lo- Aaron yeah. Glazer's rape trial. It's a play called called Twelve Low T Men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Twelve Twelve Men Incapable of Getting Angry. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bunch of guys at UCB outing themselves as rapists and then yeah. describing what they did. It's not rape. You know? yeah. Like I called her back for the third time and we're like, "Sit down. You did not do anything. I get what you're trying to do here." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'm really not. I'm not. Oh, damn it. Yeah. I'm a garbage person. <laughs> yeah, I'm the worst. <laughs> I love that was my favorite thing on Facebook with the dudes that were like, and then some of them were legit, which is great. But then some of the people were just the things they were saying. They're like, I too, have, I've treated people poorly. I have I'm held like, a woman's yeah, hand. That's not what we're talking about. Mm. Yeah, Everybody's to, treated people poorly. I wanted to write a thing that's like, you know, we're, we're all guilty in this, you know, <laughs> uh, several years ago. Yeah, I, I kidnapped a, an eight year old girl with Down syndrome and I. <laughs> I suffocated her with my penis. <laughs> We're all sharing guilt. <laughs> Society yeah. is guilty. That's the thing that we've yeah. All done. yeah, I blame that kidnapping on a system of oppression yeah. Yeah. that gave me the idea that that was okay to do. I melted a bunch of Jolly Ranchers and dipped my penis in it and, mm. and inserted it into that poor girl's mouth yeah. because of Louis C.K. Yes. I watched his show. Yeah. And as I described that to my male friends, they laughed and patted me on the back. And that is a type of <laughs> toxic network. Yes. <laughs> a boys club. I, I guess my point is is that we need more trans women on television. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on the thing that's dying. Yeah. <laughs> we need more trans women in the least relevant yes. medium. Journalists. Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole idea, too, is it's like the, the whole diversity thing. It's like, let, how about more trans doctors? Like, right. yeah. w- the idea that any minority gets status from being a clown is right, amazing. Right, right, you know? Right, 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 like, right. just when you go to the New York Comedy Festival party, it's like a sad mm. thing and it's just desperation and it's just. Just a bunch of losers like, eating shrimp, and yeah. it's like, <laughs> oh, you don't want that for anyone. Like, right, you don't right, want. Right. That's not how like people are going to make. Well, it. my favorite version of the we need more representation thing. I remember I was reading an article on Jezebel one time, and there was some commenter that was like, very highly upvoted, that was like, you know, what's fucked up is that uh, they're talking about like women in STEM, and they're like. You know, I always thought it would have been great if I could have been a mechanic. I love working with my hands, but they push girls out of those kind of environments. And now I'm, you know, I'm a lab technician, which is kind of similar to that. But I can't. It's like 
You don't know what being a mechanic is. Yeah. It is one of the worst fucking jobs. Yeah, you have a much, <laughs> you have a much better job now. Right. as a lab <laughs> technician. It's, it's, for, yeah. it's for Mexican men that like die of scoliosis <laughs> at age 27. Yeah. I always wanted to be a grease monkey, but yeah. now I'm here working for Pfizer yeah. like a loser. Right. Yeah. No, what you wanted was like this fucking cool blue collar idea you have of yourself. Yeah. And then not just, actually have to do any of the fucking work. Yeah, they've just imagined themselves like wiping grease off their right, exactly. forehead with a, yeah. a Rag. Yeah, you wanted and then to drink a beer. You, you wanted know? to hold a giant wrench on yeah. a calendar. <laughs> you just wanted overalls. That's yeah, yeah. literally all you wanted was overalls and boots. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I'm trying to go overalls. Mm-hmm. That's a nice look. They used yeah, to, when yeah, I was a little bad. kid, when I was an actor, they would dress me up in overalls and like a flannel yeah. shirt, just in case any of those directors wanted to yeah, fuck yeah, a farm yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to have private time in the barn with me. We you did, didn't get molested by I anyone. I didn't you get, did and that not. was my sexual prime when I was. Ten. Yeah, you were hot. Well, I was like seven, yeah, that, seven, eight, nine. It was you like had that little blonde bull. Let me tell you right now, it was like fuck town, and You're it never happened. Ass. Yeah, because my parents didn't know what to do. Like they were just white trash, Long Island. Like they didn't know how to put that, no, how to shop that little boy pussy. They didn't pimp this ass. <laughs> they didn't put you on the stroll the way they should have. <laughs> no, they didn't put me on. You the You could have fucked Gary Goddard. Dude. I could have been riding fucking. Brian Singer <laughs> all the way and I would have back then because I wasn't as heavy as I am now like I would have you I had was, the I knees dan- I was in dance too I was in dance I was the uh, boogie woogie bugle boy the things I would have been able to do to these no people. one tried to fuck you never as a no, kid no I had so one dude so I was in a community uh, community theater production of uh-huh. uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs beautiful I was happy the dwarf and the director said to me I had to be like I was like maybe nine or ten and the director came up to me and he like held my hand he's like listen I just want to let you know I'm a really good person to talk about girls with. Oh, like if you shit. ever have anything to talk about. If with, you ever want to practice. You don't want to talk about it with your family. <laughs> yeah. so, maybe, so I knew immediately. I was like, oh, this loser <laughs> who's not in SAG yeah, is yeah, trying yeah. to fuck me. He, yeah. beta, he was a beta. Yeah. If he was an alpha, you would have ended up fucking If he was him. an alpha, if you just grabbed me and kissed me and was like, get this, <laughs> do this, I would have fucked him because I was looking to get fucked. I was very sexually active as a kid. Like There was an Indian kid in South yeah. Pacific with me and we used to play this game in the bathroom where we would go top this and uh-huh. you would just show different parts Each of your body. Each other's asses. Well, I'd just be like, top this. And somebody take your shirt off. Be right. like, top this. You'd show somebody like Hilarious. your pubic hair. And you'd show. I was like, yeah. I was really looking. Yeah, and yeah, 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 So yeah. any of these directors, if you had the littlest bit of game, I would have been <laughs> you, choking it absolutely. down like a champ. And yeah, I would have yeah, kept around it around amateurs. You're around. Yeah, I was around amateurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's nothing worse than a pedophile who's like a fumbling. Yeah, have some courage. Insecure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, the, like, nice, the nice guy pedophile. Um, <laughs> hey, um, are, what do you, do you maybe want to come over and eat pedophile. candy later? Yeah. <laughs> nothing is worse than a cuck pedophile. Yeah. You know? Hey, can he you come over? He hires a little kid to fuck his wife. Can you come over so my friend can fuck you? <laughs> it's like no bro no either you fuck me or we're not doing this yeah so the reason we had tim on is because tim is an expert on like conspiracy theories <laughs> yeah. specifically some of the uh uh you've like you've like, interviewed the guy that wrote I feel like my career's over <laughs> yeah. been on this 15 minutes yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fine. You, like <laughs> nobody's moving forward with anything uh, it doesn't matter all of our careers are over yeah, because, it's true. because we're point. getting too close to the truth yes yeah. <laughs> there was a cia plant at the show last night asking really? questions yeah there was yeah i, I think I, I i look around i think everybody's a fucking plant everybody's oh, yeah. a plant everybody's doing something yeah uh, yeah i did i did well, a you, lot you of you uh, interviewed uh the camp right the guy from uh the camp died i interviewed a guy named nick bryant who wrote oh, a book okay. called the franklin scandal about a pedophile a child sex trafficking ring out of omaha nebraska in the in the 80s and and you know probably before that too but it, it came to light in the in the 80s um and uh, and it was because I saw a documentary on Netflix called Who Took Johnny, which is like a Ooh. really scary, yeah, yeah. you know, real world type. It's like the real Stranger Things. Like people watch Stranger Things right, and they're right, like, right. isn't that entertaining? It's like, mm-hmm. it's not if you know about right. like... Stranger Things, by the yeah. way, you need any more evidence that there's a fucking pedophile ring in Hollywood. <laughs> right. Explain why suddenly a toothless boy is the biggest child star. <laughs> <in the world. laughs> yeah. <laughs> people got mad at me on close. Twitter because I said I was dating Finn Wolford as a joke. 
joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, as a joke, <laughs> and people kind of got angry with me. They're like, "That's not fun to joke about." <laughs> yeah, especially when if it turns out his agent was raping. Yeah, his was. entire yeah. roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. that's the problem. Now you make a joke, and then like a week later, everything you've joked about is fact. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't. Well, you know who I think about too, because you think about who got raped the worst. Yeah, yeah. and it, your mind immediately goes to Corey Feldman, but he's at least able to talk about it. Yeah, and he really got it. Short round. Yeah. <laughs> short, you know, short, short round. Who's short round? Yeah. From, Indiana from Indiana Jones. Jones. Oh. Short round. I think he was also Data from the Goonies. Oh, he okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just never had a real name. That's yeah, how much yeah. they fucked him, is that he was so fucking inhuman. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, descriptions. The, the 80s were very, like, a- Asia phobic or whatever you want to They were, yeah. like, really. Ra- every 80s movie was really racist to Asian people. Yeah. And 90s, too. Seinfeld. It wasn't a great time for Asians uh, being represented or for kids in Hollywood that just didn't want to get fucked <laughs> by middle-aged dudes. <laughs> that decade was rough. But no, you start looking into this stuff and you start you start actually realizing that it, a lot of it is true and a lot of it makes sense because if you're a wealthy guy and you are a pedophile – you're not going to pull a kid off the street. Of course not. Like, there's got to be some system. Some quality control. There's got to be some quality control. Institution, yeah. Yeah, and, and you start looking into this, and you're like, oh, this is probably more right than wrong. Right. Yeah. And it's kind of <laughs> terrifying. And then and then you're also like, a lot of people that looked into that particular thing, the Franklin scandal, died. They were Damn. killed. You know, the private investigator who went and got pictures of these kids, because it's a, a lot of this is a blackmail operation. Who was one. running this Omaha thing? Yeah, there was a guy named Larry King. He was like one of the rising stars in the Republican Party. He That's sang the national awesome. anthem. At the 1984, awesome. he was like good friends with Maureen Reagan. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. He was a, he was a black Republican, a prominent guy. Oh, and gosh. he'd embezzled $40 million from a, the Franklin Credit Union, Omaha, Nebraska. So when the Nebraska <laughs> legislature was like looking into that, people were going to them and going, no, no, no. The real story is that he's also running an interstate pedophile <laughs> Holy network. fuck. And they're like, really? And they started looking into that. And he was plundering boys from Boys Town, which was that big it's the, it's, orphanage. It's a podcast. It's a very successful podcast. Yeah, boy, this is a successful podcast. <laughs> but like... They plunder kids from these really, it's really vulnerable kids that oh are in orphanages, God. and it's horrible. Holy and the shit. God, so then they hired Yo, a private- imagine being an orphan yeah. and getting fucked. It's rough. <laughs> it's like, it's very, can it, I just play some PlayStation yeah, without like, parents? Right. Like, I have to get my fucking whole stuff? And then stuff? the private investigator, this guy, Gary Caradori, who was like, you know, tapped, great, he was a really good name. investigator, he went and supposedly got these photos, and there's five different- people that confirm he did receive these blackmail photos because it's like a blackmail op like CIA or whoever's like you fuck a kid we have a photo of that we have a video of that we own you forever right you can never oh you, you're against the what <laughs> you don't like the Dakota Access pipeline like take a look at that so a lot of these uh, things were blackmail ops it, that's weird to me because I feel like if let's just say I had fucked a kid yeah. for whatever reason yeah. and mm-hmm. the CIA this was hot. blackmailing me yeah I feel I mean I don't know because I, like, I, I'm not in that position but I would be like all right, everybody, look. You're going to be pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get that. <laughs> now, I fucked a kid, yeah. but I'm being blackmailed by the CIA. It's worse. This is fucking insane. No, but you that's gotta... amazing. Like a guy who goes out there, he's like, listen, okay. I'm going to level with you. I got to be honest. I'm going to level with you <laughs> right now. Yeah. I have been fucking kidding, but this healthcare plan is not fair. <laughs> this is not fair, and I will not vote for it. I don't care what they have on me. But no, this guy, Gary Caradori, was, was flying back with his son, who was eight years old, oh my God. from getting uh. these pictures. His plane mysteriously broke up in the middle of the. So it's weird. The whole plane. The whole plane. It was a you know private. You think plane. they took out everyone for Caradori's? No, name? it was him and his son. It was like a private, oh, plane. private yeah. plane. No, yeah, they'll take people out because this is the type of shit that like this can't get out. This isn't like infidelity. This isn't like. Uh, you know what I mean? This is yeah. like yeah, this is like know, some medieval like witchcraft type. It's shit. bad stuff, man. It's no uh-huh. good. It's no good. And there's kids don't have a lobby like. Kids don't have a group. There's no Jezebel for children. It's like, what about these kids no, getting Highlights fought? Magazine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. Uh, Goofus gets yeah. raped. Right. Gallant, right. on the other hand, yeah. Highlights thinks acting is yeah. gay. Yeah. Here's this map where you can trace the kids to their escape. You yeah. Know? yeah. It's a maze. Get yeah. out of a sex dungeon. Yeah. Get out of Jeffrey and fucking Gary Goddard's house. Yeah. And Nick had me on this whole thing because he wrote on Instagram the other day that like, 
because I was more into the political realm of this, but you look at it in the entertainment world, and that's that's probably I mean I'm, it's happening there. The too. The entertainment world the, is worse at covering it up than the government is. Oh yeah, absolutely. The government well, they don't have the if, CIA. if there is a government pedophile oh, yeah. thing happening, I mean it's like not as it's not like you know like Bill Clinton has Juanita Broderick, right? Brian Singer has like. Nine different uh, Juanita Brodericks yeah. that were all twelve at yeah. the time. Right. Well, there's also that, some overlap because that billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein had that island, and it's like mm-hmm. yeah, Bill Clinton was on his plane, island. Kevin Spacey like, was on his plane. Even yeah. Juanita like Broderick. Overlap. I mean, yeah. th- there was a seventy million dollar federal investigation into Juanita Broderick. So it's and, like, and 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 which came out with what nothing? Yeah, inconclusive or okay. that it, it, that it which wasn't is what true. a lot of rape con- cases. I mean, in fairness to her, do yeah, come, but yeah. I mean, Ken Starr was like try. Uh, he wanted yeah. that to be real. Right. You know, right. I mean, it, it uncovers all these other things. Yeah. That are like, you know, like sexual harassment yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like, why? Why go that far? Yeah. To tarnish the reputation of the president and then cover that part up. Sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, There's, Hollywood, I think, is more flagrant. I think the government, there are people in the government, you know, Denny Hastert got away with it for years. People right. get away with it. You know, well, right. Den, Denny Hastert is like he, he, what he got caught for was yeah. paying hush money to a guy that he molested way back in the 70s. Correct. Yeah. yeah. He paid out something like three million dollars. Now, yeah. in, in terms of the time period between the 1970s and when he was exposed in 2012, yeah. it's like, is there... It, is there evidence that he was molesting more people, or was that something he was doing in his younger days? So, well, I would yeah. imagine. I would imagine. I don't when think still had the... something you grow out of. You yeah. know, I feel like it's not something where you're like oh, in the '70s. We all had a couple yeah, of crazy nights. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm into parkour. I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I think it is a disease that. And, and listen, there was a guy in I Washington. Know, I used to be pretty into thick women. And, yeah, and, and you're, tr- you're. Yeah, maybe you get into fat kids as you get maybe older. Maybe that's yeah. it. You know, it's like <laughs> Haster. Know. You know, yeah. his knees weren't the same as they were in the '70s. I'm not anymore, but that's not true. Yeah, yeah. So, so like those thickies. Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't know. But I do think it's one of those things that it, it does seem to be a lifelong problem. For <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I gotta be honest, it doesn't. It does seem to be a lifelong well, issue. My only, my, yeah. <laughs> my only point with, with with Hastert is like Hastert is just a just. I mean, because yeah. there has to be a dissenting voice. If we're having a conversation, absolutely, I agree about, with you about about like whether or not a global pedophile. Ring. Yeah, absolutely. So to play devil's advocate, <laughs> yes. I do think it is real. Yeah, is that <laughs> it's that like it was like a single incident. Just it's my not, manager called me, going, "Why weren't you the devil's advocate? The, why weren't you the?" Um, it, like with Epstein, Epstein, like the charges brought against him versus the overwhelming evidence and the amount yeah. of like documentation of him like repeatedly raping underage girls yeah. hundreds of times in some yeah. instances and then being sentenced to 18 months for solicitation and one, one of the one, one of the one count of like lewd solicitation yeah and one of the and one of the uh things in the agreement was that he would not have to name any co-conspirators Ooh, and the guy and the fuck. guy is na- and the guy that structured that whole Epstein agreement now is like a federal judge. It's oh like, it's like crazy. shit! It's like legit crazy. Yeah, his, yeah. His the, lawyer, you're saying the the police, uh, the department. guy who I forget. I think it was either the judge that signed off uh-huh. on it or the attorney Nick Bryant, the guy who wrote the Franklin scandal, was the one who was was telling the me connection. about that. They were like, because you look at what happens to all these people who kind of just uh-huh. just you know stay quiet. Right. They are promoted. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. just the same thing. Those those people at nine eleven who like. You know, all these fucking, you know, in Alex Station, the Bin Laden unit, like all these people who like screwed up intelligence, like they just shut up and they were promoted. I mean, that's kind of the way the government yeah. works. You just shut up. You get promoted. Don't dime on anybody. And Fail fucking- upwards. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why black women just never can advance. In the <laughs> right. It's, it's, it's they're always possible for them to be always heroically, <laughs> heroically talking shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know he was fucking them kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, you're done. You're done here. <laughs> Fuck, I needed to hit the couch, Well, that's man. what the, the government, the reason everybody in the federal government gets away with fucking kids in every position is because in every office, they only fuck kids for the first 10 to 15 minutes when the day starts at work. Right. Mm. So none of the black women are there to witness it. <laughs> right, it's true. Oh. <laughs> I have otherwise... It's like, yeah, Charlene is due in at about 10, 26. Yeah, eight, 17 sharp. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. She's going to come in and yell about Starbucks for three minutes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she won't even notice the kids leaving. I told her that is not a culotta. I got a culotta every day. A culotta, a culotta is not red. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, they love Dunkin' Donuts. That's the thing. It's, it's crazy. good. Dunkin but Nick was, good. Nick was said something on Instagram like, is Spielberg, like, what do you think would happen if it like came out? That Spielberg was like the guy. Well, yeah, then just, I think was that, like the puppet man. Like that's all of our childhood. Right, right, right. Destroyed. Well, I think that brings the whole Holocaust into question. Because right. of Schindler's List. <laughs> yes. Oh you know? shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If you if you can impeach his credibility from being the head of a child sex ring, and they will. How there will know? be think pieces like let's let's take a look at Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> if, like, you no, know, really though, if, Spielberg was never good. If at making that movies. did come out. There would probably be a civil fucking war. I mean, the, the kind of like shock that of would have to America. No, because of like everything. I don't know about a civil war. Because, We're such a lazy country. Yeah, yeah. We but are, it would be shocking. That would cause yeah. the kind of social <laughs> unrest that would, it would fucking, be bad. It would create like widespread cultural schizophrenia. People would lose their fucking minds. It would be really. Cra- it is almost something where if he is, I'm even like cover it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. God, yeah. kill him, kill him don't, secretly. Yeah, don't let this happen. Well, that's give him thing. something. I was reading about all this shit, and you know, like the the. Interlocking triangle, the the, yeah. in, the the triangle pedophile logo or whatever, for Nambla that was on, yeah, that was on the best of pizza, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. sign or whatever. Which it, it could be a coincidence, right. which is like very funny for the people who own that business. It is, if it is. yeah. Um, but uh, it's also on the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department badge. I know, awesome. but then you start going like, why? Awesome. Like, as a guy that thinks these things are real, I'm like. Why do that? Well, if, if, like, if, why if the even? implication is that it's yeah. on the badge because the L.A. County Sheriff's Department is an organization that since the 1930s has been systematically raping children, yeah. then it's like, well, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what like do this. you do? Well, no, 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 you no, get no, some no. cops, like, you make your own private cop force? Cops yeah. are always going to... Well, I mean, there's injustices all over the fucking world. If that gets all that. over the world, and in developing countries, and oh, you know, when God. you go to places like Thailand, the sex mm. trade, the yeah. child sex trade is fucking. It's good. Crazy. It's a bargain. Yeah. It is good compared to right America. Now, well, in Singapore, you get, you get your money for you for spitting. So it's right. like that seems like just as bad. I think right. You know. Right, just and in Thailand, they're like spit kids. on that kid's dick. Yeah, killing yeah, yeah, killing yeah, people yeah. is worse. They, than I don't think they children. kill people for spitting. I think they cane you. Yeah, yeah. you I, get a I, lashing. You get a lash. I had a. Yeah. I had a. There was. I Wouldn't wrote, that be great if in Thailand, like for spitting, you get one lash. Yeah. For fucking a kid, you get two. Yeah. <laughs> one guy's like, "Well, it makes sense. I'll just get the other lash." Like, <laughs> I, well, you got you got to spit on the kid's yeah, asshole. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wet it up. But uh, a couple years ago, I wrote an article. When I was doing that Nicole shit, that was like, yeah, uh, yeah. Was, I, the headline was like, so are we just not going to tell Chinese people that New Year's was a month ago? <laughs> and it was like, you know, like right, a ditzy yeah, yeah. girl, you know, yeah, pretend, yeah, yeah. Like, like thinking they were confused. And all these Singaporese people got mad at me. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. And I had some poet from Singapore that was like, oh, this, I remember this. this man needs to be in jail. <laughs> what? <laughs> because in Singapore, they don't have freedom of speech. Let so. me tell you right now, he would fit right in here. He would fit <laughs> right in here. He said you needed to go to jail? Yeah, yeah they were like, you should be arrested for that. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah you should be in jail. Have... You've said something that's bothered us. You should be behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I love people that like that's where society is now. We're like that's not even a controversial statement. Yeah, now. no. Sean King not said even, about yeah. Louis C.K. He's yeah. like he should be in prison. Is that what he said? Sean King called for Louis C.K. to be in jail. What? Right. Interesting. Yeah. Sean King was also the guy when that, when that white guy was kidnapped by Black Lives Matter people. Like I don't even know if they're Black Lives Matter people, but it was like a retarded white kid. And there was a kid, there was a video yeah, of him relax. Getting, yeah, yeah. tortured. Right. By relax. You're not on. Uh, you're not on Gas Digital right Cumia. now. I know exactly <laughs> what I'm on. Fuck you, man. I know exactly what I'm on. You might think this is two years ago. This is one of the um, leading podcasts of the left. No, this is the uh, so. And then Sean King was like, "I can't feel bad for this kid." It's like, whoa. What? Yeah, he's like, I Did can't get upset that? about this. Yeah, a like, retarded kid being tortured. <laughs> He's like, there's so much injustice that white people, are, which I understand, don't give a fuck about. But it's like, it's like strange that As that's your... You don't have empathy? Like, you see yeah, that, you feel bad. Response. Don't lie about it. I mean, I just love that Louis C.K. should be in jail. It's like, okay, there's, for, there's was no crime committed, but okay. Yeah. He's a pervert. Great. Lock him up. Let's right. lock everybody up. Well, you know? Hillary, lock that's why up. you just got to acquire as much money and power as possible. Yeah, so you can be untouchable. So you could have an island. I, I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna have to make so much money that in five years, when saying rape jokes is illegal, 
I can, uh-huh. do, I can have my private secret rape joke ring <laughs> yeah, where me and my millionaire friends fly to a private island and say, you already told her twice. Or by the way, we're <laughs> like it goes the other way. We're like, there is no special without rape jokes, in which case mm-hmm. every hack that we know who's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, t- you know, tweeting about uh, pressure, like, will then go the other way. Of course. Oh, yeah. Easily. Very I think quickly. it's going to happen. Yeah. I think yeah. No, that the worst plausible. part about all of this, like, you know, like, cultural rabies that people yeah. have and, right. you know, go nuts <laughs> over this shit is that when they calm down and realize that, like, they've completely overshot the mark of whatever justice they were trying to accomplish. Yeah. And they're, they're in, 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 like, setting a precedent for all of these sort of repressive ideas you know yeah. to shut down speech or or, or they, they don't realize that it could be used against them well the other thing is uh, too it's like there's so many well, useful idiots in yeah. this that aren't even ideologues they're like careerists or cynical opportunists right and they're just like out there saying literally whatever they think can advance their own career sure. it's like right. that's all oh, that's like gross well, right. on another w- level w- whenever they calm down they turn yeah, around right. and then right. pretend like they discovered that this was a yeah, problem. Yeah, they've right. come to a realization. Like yeah. Eve did that shit with the like, you know, creating dog piles, and then like two weeks later, like maybe dog piling people isn't such a good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is what was dog piling? It's like when you, you call somebody out for a thing, and, and like, then a bunch of other people online that yeah, follow get into you it also they, join in. Yeah, yeah. They, they do this thing on Twitter called follow shaming, where if you yeah, if you follow, follow somebody that's like it's an endorsement because to them it is their their entire world is wrapped up in who follows you and what kind of metrics you're getting on Twitter. Psychotic. Also, you could just follow someone and not like them. You just why wouldn't you like, follow enemies, fuck? by the way? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, That's what makes why, the world Why fun. wouldn't you follow people you disagree with? How would you then... Like, I follow people I don't agree with at all. Why? What benefit to me, mm. even if you were like a staunch uh-huh. leftist, why wouldn't you follow Ann Coulter? Well, why wouldn't you want to know what they're doing? Yeah, I mean, it's comics, and but I think it's more of a problem with fucking media people. But yeah. they, they, they do this thing where they're like, you know, socially drafting each other, where yeah. they'll pretend to like somebody until they think they can like just surpass them somehow, yeah. and mm-hmm. then just leapfrog over them and throw them down into the right. fucking garbage pit <laughs> they crawled out of. Yeah, and, yeah, it's all careerism and fucking parasitic nonsense. Yeah, yeah, and then none of it's funny. That's the other whoa, thing. It's whoa, like, whoa, whoa, fuck. Yeah, that's a, my girlfriend said that about like all the female uh, comedian articles that came out after Louis. Like the, she was like, yeah. "Yeah, I read all these articles and none of them are funny." Like, some of them made some like... great points, but some of them had so many <laughs> metaphoricals. Like there was one comedian who I like wrote an article in the Times and she had some good points. But one of the lines in the thing was she was like, "Well, if I was a man." Would my wife be watching the baby so I could go out and do theaters? And it's like there are so many metaphorical things. Uh-huh. It's like if I if this was this and this was that, then why would? And it's like what is this? Where are we going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what mm-hmm. are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're talking about we're talking about a guy who was a pervert who did the wrong sure, thing sure. and has now lost everything pretty much, yeah. other than beating the guy, flogging him in the street, murdering him, taking the money out of his bank account. What else yeah. are we going to do to this guy? Well, it's also you know? the one that they never consider is like. Yeah, what if uh, your parents were rich and they floated your entire UCB education? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of advantage would you have over yeah, like, everybody else? Yeah, what are the everybody chances else? of that? Right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know most people at UCB are working their way through Burger King. Right. Yeah. When I go to yeah, Burger yeah. King, I ask everybody working there, how many people are doing UCB improv? Every hand goes up. Exactly. Every exactly. hand goes up in that they're flipping burgers and doing improv. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Nothing funnier Fuck. than UCB. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funnier than a good jam. A bunch of adults <laughs> playing dress up. Yeah, a guy pretending to be a tree at 37 years old. <laughs> nothing funnier than that. Yeah. No family, nothing else. Just a nice little apartment in the East Village and the adoration of a bunch of losers. Well, did you see that uh, Mike Birbiglia movie? Sleepwalk with me? Is that the one about the improv? No, no I went to the premiere of the improv one because uh, Gethard was in it. So I went to the premiere. I watched it. I'm like, is this a movie? Oh yeah, it was a movie. It, I mean, it's it's like oh yeah, I never saw it. It's it's like I mean, I guess maybe it's because I'm like so close to comedy, but this looks like somebody like a boring improv person just complaining about their week. Yeah, <laughs> like, I just my favorite part of that movie. There's one part where one improv person says to another one, they go, "You don't have it," and I'm like, "Oh, that one I like." That was <laughs> really good. I was like, "That was good. <laughs> that was great." You should I'll quit. Take that. They were like, "You should quit. You don't have it." And I'm like, "Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Tell everyone that. I like that." <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I get maybe that's what a movie is supposed to be—just yeah. an accurate portrayal of boring of people. something. Yeah, it was just kind of it was it was. Weird. I get that that's a whole different experience. I, there are funny people at UCB, and I kid around. I like I like make fun of it, but I'm sure that they're that, that's a whole different experience that I've I never had and never wanted to have. Uh-huh. I never wanted to be on a team. Yeah, so yeah, I never yeah. understood like. 
Like I, that's what I like about stand up is where it's kind of like there's the, you're 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 accountable to yourself. Yeah, and you're out there and you're doing your own thing, and you 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 do work with other people you care and respect about. And you work on projects together, but this whole idea of like having a team and then also paying like. Paying money to be in this emotional Ponzi exactly. scheme, which is what UCB is, yeah. and then like a lot of the people at UCB then become the stage manager. Right, and I'm like, right, this right, could right, not right. have been the goal yeah, yeah, when yeah. you walk in the door. <laughs> like, there's no way that this, like, you weren't like, I don't want to be Amy Poehler. Fuck that. No, I, I want to be part lights. of this building. Like, one of the stage <laughs> managers literally said to me, he's like, I feel like I'm part of this building, and I'm like. Oh, oh they, they, that's <laughs> psychotic. I feel like I got my dick caught in the glory hole in the <laughs> yeah, bathroom. Yeah. I feel like I'm part of this building. Oh, uh, Amber Phyllis is. Uh, that's horrible, dude. Shitting oh, on the floor. Oh, no. Don't shit. Is Fuck. that the white cat? Yeah. That's yeah, mystical. She likes to <laughs> shit on the floor sometimes. Listen, don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Don't we all like to shit on the floor? Yeah. That's, a, that's <laughs> what we do. That story you told about. Or, or I guess. No. <laughs> it, uh, uh, fucking. Uh, uh, the other half of. Gas did Ralph Sutton. Yes, Ralph Sutton's Our story leader. about on the cruise. <laughs> yes, on the cruise, the guy just shitting in the hall. Yeah, Ralph Sutton does a cruise called Ship Rock, which the <laughs> Legion of Skanks guys go on to provide comedy in between the overdosing that goes on <laughs> listening to Papa Roach. Um, That's what's so funny is like you imagine all these child sex rings in like an island where people yeah. abuse children and how that's like this. If it's real, it's this disgusting secret. Yeah. It's also like. Yeah, do you know about cruises? Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens on a cruise? Yeah. You know what goes on on the sh- on the Warped Tour cruise? <laughs> yeah, but he goes on this thing called Ship Rocked, and it's just like... That's why that, that, that David F- Foster Wallace essay about going on the cruise it's is so, so funny. No, so, it's the, it's the yeah. worst of no, all. No. Because I he just spends it. the whole time thinking about how smart he is. He I like talk that. About essay. Funny funny shit. You got to talk about what goes on in these things. They yeah. are. They are. No, he talks about how shitty a cruise is. What's the it porn called? one's really good. Have you ever read that one? Yeah, about the AVN Awards. And who's who's in that? Uh, uh, Bobby Slayton. Bobby yes, Slayton. he's the yeah. MC. Yeah. The pit yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. MCing it. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. Do they, what do they call Bobby Slayton? I forget. The pit bull. Yid vicious. Yeah, yeah. Yid vicious. Yid vicious. That's his other name. Yeah, man. But they love people. Love those cruises. Like Ralph does a Motorhead cruise. He and he's like the MC of a crew. Like which they don't need. Need, right, but yeah. he does it yeah. like there's no need. Literally, you just need someone to do an announcement on a loudspeaker. But like Ralph gets up with his personality and he's like, <laughs> and now Slipknot. And everyone's like, okay. <laughs> Slip, Slipknot could just walk out on the deck right, and start playing. Right, right, right. But Ralph like adds a little something to it by like tomorrow's and remember tomorrow's eighties night. So. Good for him. He sneaks in a, a vacation. Yeah, he makes a little money, man. Yeah, why yeah. not? I right. was on that Impractical Jokers cruise. It was. Uh, I wanted to go on that. Lewis said he would. should have came. He's Lewis said he would have figured out a way to get me in on. You should have came. Yeah, well, I, mean, I wanted to. I'd everyone had Lewis. a plus one. Really? I don't know why the fuck. I guess fuck. Lewis brought his girl or something. He brought his chick. Yeah. Yeah. That's they just what they have a long distance relationship. She's moving to New York. Oh, yeah. It's weird. That seems like I, I don't think I, I can't imagine that Lewis could manage any kind of distance relationship. Right. Unless there was like a lock on the door. To yeah. Prevent the woman from leaving. <laughs> right. Well, the good thing <laughs> about the, good for him. Yeah. Well, the to... good thing about the long distance relationship is by she would come to New York every couple of months, and by the time she came to New York, like the bruises from him hitting her <laughs> yeah. had like, dissipated. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it was just kind of like a light shade sure, of the sure. eye, a little shimmer, uh, but. Yeah, she's moving to New York, so that's you know. good. Good for him. Have you guys ever gone on a cruise? Just otherwise? No. no. Were there any trashy like Long Island boat like drink getting drunk on a boat? Happy yeah, there, hours? there are people that are. Ha- First of all, there are people that are fans. Like I love The Sopranos, but if you told me like, hey. You can go do karaoke with Edie Falco on a boat. Yeah. I would throw something at you. I'd be yeah, like, yeah. what are you talking about? But these are people who are like, you want to spend a week with the Impractical Jokers? They're like, yes! And they are so excited. Like, you That's cannot so weird. understate how excited they are. Like, so here's one thing. I'm in a cabin, in a shitty cabin on the fifth yeah, yeah. floor. I don't have a balcony. Like, Burke Kreischer's got like a... Amazing suite, a as you should. Deck it's suite. amazing. It's yeah, like uh-huh. a living room, dining room. I'm, I have a porthole. I'm like looking out. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's fucking... One of the jokers, I don't even I don't even know who the jokers are. I know Sal. I don't even know who the other ones are. Right. So one of the <laughs> Jack Nicholson, <laughs> Jared, Leto, yeah. Jared Leto, Jeffrey Epstein, and, Sal, and <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. So one of the jokers is named Murr, right? Yeah. So all of a sudden, like the captain's announcement comes on, and you hear this: "Hello, it's your captain, Murr," and the fucking cabins on either end of me go ah and he starts <laughs> laughing and screaming like it's the funniest thing they've ever heard they're like ah, 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 ah. that's so it's funny it's Murr Murr's, Murr's the captain now <laughs> and, but he's not but he is uh, and I'm like they love it and then you just port in this fake town called Costa Maya 
which is a Where is sandbar that? in the, the Gulf of Mexico. And it's a sandbar that Royal Caribbean spent like four hundred dollars on, and they just have tchotchke stands <laughs> where these fat tourists go buy magnets. And, and then there's beaches, and to get you to the beaches, they have to drive you through legitimately a third world like hellhole <laughs> where people are running around without shoes. And there's like, like if you go stay at a resort, they take great pains to not show you any of this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They pick you up in a car, they drive you right to a resort, but you're on a trolley like an open air trolley with other cruise people like old like Jewish people from Florida that are like this looks kind of scary <laughs> and there's people without shoes and there's chickens and huts and it's like and uh-huh. then they you, you go up to the beach like we're at the beach and it's like wait what and it's bad and that's why the rest of the world hates us as of Americans because we just like dock these floating buffets outside the poorest places Sick. in the world and march <laughs> Morbidly obese people through these people's <laughs> and, then, and they're eating gum for dinner. These people, they're like yeah. they're shot, you know. And then like our people are just like like there's <laughs> people that got off our cruise on scooters, like fat like motor scooters, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like go down the pier in the motor scooter. It's it, it's like it's like disgusting. Do they have like a like a duck boat version of uh, the motor scooter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just go out it's a jet ski and also a hover round. They had like all these fat people went and did that fish foot thing where like fish eat. Oh yeah, oh, they yes, do in yes. Singapore. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck is that? Dude, they, they eat s- the dead skin on your feet. No, oh, it was yeah, so yeah, gross, yeah, bro. No, and all it's these like people. A pedicure. It's yeah. a forms of a, a form of a pedicure. Again, no. Yeah, yeah. and these That's people, know, that seems kind of nice. It's so yeah, bad, well, and they're just pe- people <laughs> put these fat like ribeye <laughs> size steak feet. <laughs> In this fish tank, <laughs> and these fish just eating it. I love it, that and I'm like, great. this is just. I feel this so is bad what for the fish. <laughs> it's horrible for the fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun for the fish. They're gonna. There's, 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 uh, like in millions of years, those yeah. fish will evolve into sentient, like you yeah. know, fucking <laughs> yeah. like beings with consciousness, yeah, and that that trauma is going to be ingrained into their psyche. And then oh, when 100%. we when we came back, we all this like you know who's leaving after us? The Kiss Cruise. Oh, there's a Kiss Cruise, and Gene Simmons and stuff. They just get there's a. There's will be a cruise for everything. There's a Walking Dead. Paramore has a cruise. Parahoy. Yeah. Oh Parahoy. God. Sugar Ray had a cruise for. Oh, the day. yeah. Because listen, when you're out of the when you're out of that 18 to 35 demo, you're like not the hot thing anymore. Like you're getting on the boat. Why is yeah. the fish thing okay, but it's wrong to put peanut butter on your dick and have a and dog have your dog? Yeah. I don't know. I, because you wrong. know what? Fish. Nobody really gives a shit about fish. We don't. They're not. They're not guys. They're not like a. They're not a person. Here's so, yeah. Okay, what it's about, dog what, what about this? You go on a cruise to Belize and you can stick your cock in a toucan's beak. Right. Is yeah. that, is that feel true? Good? Does it feel good? I mean, I don't know. It looks like it would at least feel kind of fruity. Yeah. <laughs> I think my dick a, taste like fruity happen. pebbles we, afterwards? We, we like, we're attached to our dogs and cats more so than... Fish. Also, it's sexual. I think there's dogs, too many fish to care about. Dogs yeah. could lick your feet. All right, clean. well, but this way, if you had one of those tanks at home, yeah, that would be weird. Yeah, for sure, for true. sure. If you had a fish tank at home that you stuck your fucking feet in to have fish, <laughs> but you'd have eat beautiful feet. You'd have beautiful feet. feet, though. You wouldn't so, have any friends. Yeah, it was weird, man. And well, I just saw that. I'll just look at my like, beautiful feet not, all day. This is gross. Sam yeah. Morell was telling me that the last year. Uh, the cruise was the Bahamas, and a bunch of tourists would just come back just robbed. Oh, <laughs> they yeah. They just want to go to the Bahamas, yeah. and they're just like, Which get a cruise? machete pulled on the Practical Jokers. Yeah, practical jokers. I, think that's why they didn't, I think that's why they didn't dock in Jamaica By the way, this time. Here, here's the other thing. There's not a group of people on Earth that deserve to be robbed more <laughs> than the people on that cruise. Like, like, there's not a single group of people that deserve to be like a machete to the neck. What's the average net per victim? Seventeen dollars? Oh or? God, not much. Yeah, because you don't carry any cash. They put all your purchases on your room key. Right. Oh, they got yeah, my, yeah. My, so at the end of the week, they're like, 2A ate 15 pounds of shrimp. They got and- my jet scarf and my <laughs> Olive Garden gift certificate. <laughs> Dude, and then some of them are talking about other cruises, and it's like uh, crazy. They're cruise like, lifers. Cruise people, like somebody, one lady turns to another lady. One woman goes like this. She's like, do you mind if I ask you a question? The old lady's like, no. And the woman goes, what cruise line wouldn't you take? And then the lady goes, like it was like a secret. Right. And then the lady goes, don't go carnival. And then the other woman goes, I've heard that. And I'm like, oh, God, what a nightmare. Yeah, imagine. Way to spend your time on this planet. Yeah. <laughs> and the boats are shitholes. They're disgusting. Yeah. Cruise ships are disgusting. That story yeah. of the boat yeah. that got stranded out at sea and everyone was sitting in their own shit yeah. for a week. That was like the best story It's the, the best world. story ever. And by the way, it's not that much different from when it's working. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's, it's not that much different from when it has power, by the way. You're just shitting and it's going down the toilet. It's just... 
It's horrible. It, they're, they're bad, but people love it. They don't even go outside. They don't go in the water. They don't well, care. They should have a fish that you shove up your ass and eats all the shit out of your colon. <laughs> I would love one of those. It gives you a colonic. You just have the yeah. tail sticking out. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're going to the pool? Hold on. I got to change my fish. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> yeah. Pop a new one in. <laughs> my fish is cleaning my colon. <laughs> that would rule, dude. I want fish to do everything for me. Shit, trim my pubes. You know what I mean? Put your fucking... Put, put your, your balls in the balls. only good fish is Pepperidge Farm goldfish. Do you really <laughs> like them as a snack? Yeah. I like them. You like, you're a snack guy. I am. Dude. You like vittles. Yeah. You like snacks. I do. Interesting. I he do does. like snacks. He likes little snacks. Does, yeah. That's yeah. the only reason I got into television, right? Yeah. Did you just get a little craft service? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, not craft services. Just the, the, the snack in the table. in-office snacks yeah. Yeah, yeah. in the kitchen. Oh, the that's the Are you a snack guy? I'll snack, but I like a big. I'm not a snack. No, I you like a big. You you're like me. You like a. You like an eight course meal. Exactly. Yeah. yeah you yeah. like. Yeah. I don't like. I like a p- roast. You're like yeah, I like yeah, a yeah. pig roast. I yeah. like enough meat for a family of five. Yeah, I'm not a snack guy. No, I like doesn't. A, a little uh, some Nestle flips, a cigarette. All snacks know. to me become paste in your mouth. Yeah. I like them when Cookies, I'm high. Yeah. I like crackers. them when I'm high. Yeah. When yeah. I was high, I would eat cereal. When I used Beautiful. to smoke pot, oh. I would eat. I love cereal. What was your favorite cereal to eat? I mean, Stones. I I I liked Golden Grams a lot. I liked everything. I like Golden Grams. Grams. I like Golden Grams where they get a little I, soft. I had a yeah, dream last you know, yeah. let them let them Absolutely. sog in that middle. In I had that a dream ground. last night. I was eating Golden Grams. It's Whoa. amazing. Yeah. You had a dream. I had about a dream it. about Golden Grams. <laughs> it's so interesting. And I was mixing all kinds of cereal in a big bowl and drinking it. It's beautiful. Milk and Yo, when Were my mom hot? would bring fruity pebbles home, them shits would go so quick. Yeah, we would. Yeah. Eat, she would go to Costco and just get like shit that was supposed to last us the weeks. Double, and me and my brother is that why yeah. you look like Fred Flintstone? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I have Flintstone feet. We should do a me and you should do a Fred and Barney. We really parody. should. We really yeah. should. You do for a giant, but with child steaks. rape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like Fred and Barney yeah, have yeah. a dark it's secret. The L- Lolita Express, but there's a <laughs> hole on the bottom and it's yeah. powered by your feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bam, um, bam, come over When here. I was like really smoking pot in seventh grade, my mother was also collecting McDonald's toys. So she would just keep going to <laughs> for McDonald's. Herself? For her, Yeah, she wanted to uh, save them and then sell them later in life. Oh, they <laughs> valuable. That was no, her, I come from what great a sucker. stock. Yeah, that was her investment yeah, she plan. Was a, she was a sucker sucker. But yeah, she yeah. would put like Beanie Babies in, uh, you know, shoe boxes. But she would then, she, like my mom, my, my friends would like be at my house. We'd be stoned and she'd show up at like 30 McDoubles. Whoa. She's like, I had to just keep going through the drive thru uh-huh. to get all the toys. Yeah. And my friends would look at me and they were like, obviously, this is laughable now. <laughs> yeah. My friends would be like, dude, you have the best life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a little kid, yeah. you're like, yeah. whoa. I'm like, yeah, it what? is pretty good. Bryce- and then, like, when I grew up, I was like, oh, she's schizophrenic. Yeah. I'm obese. Oh, this <laughs> is a problem. Bryson Turner used to have a funny joke about that, about his white trash cousins that he'd go visit. Oh, uh, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's just white trash people are just people that think everything an eight year old thinks is cool or still cool <laughs> as an adult. It's so like, true. we'd go over there and be like, whoa. Oh, you get to drink Mountain Dew for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> Look, they just park on the lawn. Yeah. Wait, your bed is a race car. <laughs> it was a very I still think job. that's cool. R.I.P. Bryson Turner. I Where is he? He's dead. Car. Is he really? No. He, oh, right. he moved to Virginia Beach. So he God love him. Happier life. Yeah, yeah probably. Actually, yeah, he just he's got probably married so much like, better than us. At one point, he was doing something called Comedy Church, and I'm like, oh, yeah. this is not going to no. yeah. This is not gonna go well. Right. Didn't someone <laughs> tell me he was trying to make it to the NBA like at like 29? Yeah. Bryson kind of yeah. lost it. I mean, like I, I talk to him maybe once every two years now, but he seemed okay last time I talked to him. But like, he, he his thing was like he was when he was like twenty four, he just figured out comedy. Yeah, every, like literally every time he went on stage, he would have a new five to ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would crush, and then they were always fully formed bits. It wasn't yeah. like you know this yeah, thing yeah, now yeah. where you can get away with just sort of being a personality. Or, right, right. Yeah. Would, they, like full bits, three tags. You know, just structured. Mm-hmm. He was just yeah. good at it. Mm-hmm. And then you know, you even if you're good at comedy, you still have to like play the fucking game. And you, you have, have to get maintain. To just be, and sometimes yeah. it's like, listen, you figure out comedy, so you got to figure out other things in life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like you figure out comedy really early, and then you're like. Oh, but like relationships and yeah. all these other things I got to figure out. Like, course, I totally yeah. get it. Like, I totally yeah. get people. I spoke to a kid. I went to dinner with a kid who quit. It was like a really funny guy. And he's like, yeah, he was like, again, he started 20. By the time he's 26, he was like opening for people, doing a lot of cool shit. And he was just like, yeah, but I got to a point where I hadn't done anything else with my life. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't have a, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's unhealthy to just yeah. fucking be uh, a comedian. Absolutely. Well, Bryce had just kind of burned himself out because he like didn't. 
you know, he didn't have like patience really, I yeah. guess, which, you know, he really shouldn't have. I mean, it, yeah, you know, like 10, 10, 15 years prior. He, would have, he you, could have just gotten a fucking hour long HBO special. Yeah, you find fine. out like when you 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 get really good at something, then you're like, oh, that doesn't matter as much right. as yeah. these other. Also, things. he developed this ego, and like because of the ego, everyone was just waiting for him to fail. Like yeah. people were so excited when he kind of lost. He was him. a nice guy. I he was, was nice. He's, he's like one of my dude. best friends. Yeah, and it was like people kind of had this spiteful, shitty attitude towards him That's because sucks. he yeah. was like a young, talented guy, and he was like, yeah, I know I'm the best comic. Yeah, and you can't do that in comedy. No, you can't. Yeah, you have to be like even when you're a you have to be like, I suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I like. I'm not even good. I'm like. I barely like. I just. I'm so worried about global warming. And everyone's like, yeah. cool, thank you. Yeah. God, you're so conscious. The, like, well, it's the, the, the next thing. Louis special is about to be fire. It's about to be great. Now, what oh, do you yeah. guys think? How long does he wait before he gets back in? Well, he's doing Funny Moms in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. is he? <laughs> he's skyping yeah, in. Yeah. Is he going to do it? We got we got Louis uh, skyping in. To funny yeah, moms. well, it's 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 going to be sort of not exactly straight stand up. It's going to be sort of a take on. Don't ruin the bit. I won't. You fucking Come on, man. Adam's like, I'll just telegraph the I'm funny gonna, right out of this. Here's what it'll be exactly. <laughs> and by the way, if anyone has issues with it, tweet us and we'll change it. We're not <laughs> actually going to. Okay. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna t- get a video of a guy jacking off and superimpose Louis's face on. Oh, that's fun! That, put I it like up that. on a projector on the show. <laughs> okay, yeah. I dig it. Yeah, but now like I've, now, but now it's ruined, ruined by saying Adam ruins they everything. Don't have a, thank you. They don't have a what they say. projector set up at the vet. We could have figured okay. something out anyway. Uh, we did the graves. There's an article came out about Adam Conover where they were like, "Yeah, he's killed 17." people well yeah, someone sure woke has. has to fall right that's oh, like a, harry condo has hilarious. to be raping there's a little boy in right? adam's hair yeah <laughs> under, under, that, under that pompadour is an yeah. infant that's covered yeah, it's in like semen. adam's like adam ruins everything he's like <laughs> the next episode is like what you really don't know about epstein's island yeah, yeah. yeah. it's fake don't look into it anymore there's no don't do any more digging <laughs> it's weird that we've gotten to this place in society where we're like now rooting for certain people of to have done unspeakable, like damaging yeah. things. I saw to somebody other posting like male comics. You better be fucking dripping ball sweat into your like j- male comics in general. Yeah, like, all you of just us, want yeah. everyone to be accused <laughs> of rape. Yeah. It's, like it's people, also it's also like why are we getting so giddy yeah. about tragedy? About people being hurt? Yeah, and, people like, are being victimized and hurt. Be, like yeah, yeah. why are we all yeah. excited? Well, about what they're excited it's, about is careers being destroyed because right. they're they're that so fucking up brain spots. damaged. Yeah, that yeah. they think that this is going to create some kind of vacuum. Yeah, and it's not just like rich yeah. people being like, "Oh, good, we don't have to pay Louis anymore." Right, right, right. right. We'll continue to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This no. doesn't like. It's not going to be like, "Oh, great." Well, you know, now that now we can have right. nine yeah. trans people replace Louis. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. That and it's actually it, it. There was like that woman, uh, Jen Richards, is like a trans woman. I guess she was on that show, The Cops. Yeah. Oh, and the she's FX like, show. I guess I can announce it now. Is going to be on Louis FX show, and that job's gone now because of this. Yeah. People are like, wow, now Louis costing trans women yeah. jobs. It's like, no, the job he created for yeah. a trans woman is gone. Yeah. Mike yeah, Lawrence yeah, was yeah, a writer yeah. on that, and uh, he, I, I guess he doesn't have a job anymore either. But he did. He just went to that Katy Perry concert and just. Who? Danced his fears away. <laughs> Mike Lawrence posted a picture. Oh. On yeah. <laughs> He's like, I went to a Katy Perry concert. And, I and he cried. said he'd cry the during- entire time. <laughs> <laughs> he cried during California Girls. Oh and he finally God. accepted LA as his home, which I think is amazing. Imagine being a parent who took a 13-year-old girl <laughs> to that concert. <laughs> and you turn around and you see sweaty Mike Lawrence dancing and crying <laughs> during California Girls. I think you would go, this isn't safe and we've got to go. That deserves the call out. Uh, you would think crazy. someone took their retarded son to Katy Perry. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, saw yeah. that. Like this those. adult disabled man. <laughs> yeah. And I love Mike, but they call me out when I post something fat on my Instagram, which happens every other week. So every other day. And who's I, that? I love If they all do, like Matt, Matt, Mike will be like, well, this is, a, you know, <laughs> this is a very piggish thing. And I'm like, all right, well, okay, you're going to go to a party. <laughs> I had dinner. I said this on podcast before. It was like one of the greatest things ever in my life was I had dinner with him and his wife in L.A. He said three things. They were all terrible. Fine. And one of them he said, he goes like this, we're eating mole, the mole is so good. He goes like this, he goes, he looks up at us, he's got like mole all over him, and he goes, roast battle must evolve or it will perish. And I just looked at his wife and I'm like, are you guys getting to the beach at all? Or, what do you think? Like, how, how's it been? Is the weather good? What you guys with that, with that? 
Uh, I'm living in the shadow of my own kill. Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. He destroys Ralphie <laughs> yeah, May. I go downstairs the next day. We're on like the buffet line or whatever, <laughs> Montreal, and I go, "Congrats!" The whole festival's talking about it. He's like, "But I am living in the shadow of my own kill." I'm like, "Oh my god, what is this?" <laughs> you're like, what? yeah, never Does mind. Comic books, like, comic books are gay. Yeah, again. yeah right. Then you remember why people made fun of people that read comic books? Yeah, because yeah. they think well, their whole the life people, is Batman. All the people that like comic books now didn't actually like comic books. Right. Mike may have read. Did. I'm sure Mike did, but yeah, most he of Mike's read the real deal. One or two comic books. The same thing with wrestling. It's yeah, like yeah. even if you fucking watched it every day. You're not these, you know, brain damaged adults. One thing I hand to Mike, and this is why I love Mike, is like he was like a real deal. Like you talk about white privilege. Like that guy worked at McDonald's for seven yeah, years. Oh my like, god! Yeah, nobody yeah. hustled harder than that guy. And nobody worked harder than that guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's great. Fuck that. He's funny he's, as shit. Too. Yeah, he's fucking. He's like the guy. Man. Yeah. Like when we. When no, we were the all, only complaint about yeah. Mike is that he is autistic. <laughs> yeah, there is some of that. And the thing, that, the, the, the cool thing about people that are like autistic or whatever is yeah. they don't they. Like they're they're rude by accident because they right. don't understand, but it goes both ways. Yeah, absolutely. you can straight up be fucking rude as shit to them, and they don't. Yes. you know, they I, don't we, care I do either. that to beer nerd all the time. Right, right. anytime I see him, I say incredibly rude things right <laughs> to his face. He's like, yeah, yeah, you know, like, he's, yeah. He doesn't. You're a just, piece of shit. I am yeah, ugly yeah, and stupid. Yeah, water off a duck's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Um. Okay, I guess well, I don't know the next thing to go into here. We already. This we is episode, episode five. Well, we've again. D- we've done like nine episodes of, on it. On we what? don't have to keep talking on like about all it. of the uh, all this like conspiracy. Let's talk about uh, Tim it. fucking like a fireman or something. You were an FDNY shirt. Have you ever fucked a fireman? I, the first dude I blew was a fireman. He was, in the fire, he was in the fireman. He was like training to be a fireman. He wasn't a real fireman. Uh, first guy, um, first dick in your dead. mouth. Yeah, first dick in my mouth. Was it because of the Linden Motel in Brooklyn? It was because of nine eleven. My parents arranged it. My father looked at me and he said, "Son, are you a patriot?" <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you know, Uncle Tommy's been very stressed out seeing all his friends die in the 9 11. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's yes. like, he would love your baby mouth on his cock. <laughs> so, That's no, they should have given him the Lolita Express. Yeah, as well. of course. Yeah. The At, airline first responders. Should have gotten two years to do whatever they wanted. You I know? agree. After that. I agree. No consequence. No consequences. I think that fucking Rudy Giuliani should have came out and said, hey, I know we cleaned up New York. Listen, are you going to get health care? No. Yeah. You're not going to get health care. For two years, you can fuck as many boys as you want. You do want. whatever yeah. you want. You want to run through. Broken assholes. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> fuck everybody you want. But now, first dude I blew was a firefighter who was like, it was in a hotel in Brooklyn. Like a nice. hotel in Brooklyn. We met on Craigslist. Ooh. Yeah. That's romantic. And like before I sucked his dick, he looked at me. Literally, and I had to take his dick out of my mouth to say, okay. He looked at me and he goes, I'm not fucking gay. And I took his dick out of my mouth and I went, no, I know. <laughs> and then I just kept, and I kept blowing him. And that was it. It was the hottest thing ever. So it was just like a beefy Italian guy. And, you should have said me either. Yeah. yeah. I was just, I know. Oh, We're yeah. just from Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. It was, hey, Paisan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Brooklyn is just afternoon. the way that we had. A tree gets hard in Brooklyn. But that was fun. That was a fun time of life where you just smoke weed, drive around. Get sucked, sucked up, dudes. suck off fire. You know? <laughs> that was, I mean, like, we all had those times. Was that pre, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was that pre stand-up for you? Pre-stand-up, yeah, yeah. yeah. I started stand-up late. I started stand-up when I was like 20. Well, yeah, it was, it was pre-stand-up. I yeah, started yeah. stand-up when I was like 25. Um, so how would you go about having sex with Adam? Like Adam, we detail. have to create a sleepover from when I was young. Okay. <laughs> because that's what Adam reminds me of, like, all the oh, Jewish yeah, yeah. guys that I grew up with who were yes. like, Kind of effeminate and touchy, yeah, yeah, yeah and like yes, weird, yeah. But not, but now all have wives, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. like all have wives, ethically but, gay, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah. like the type of guys where like, if you blew them, they would giggle. They'd be like, stop, <laughs> stop, <laughs> it 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 stop. <laughs> but like, would never, like, would never even internalize it was gay. <laughs> they would just oh, like yeah. giggle. Like that would be so. That would be. Oh no! I can attest that like Jewish summer yeah. camp was like so much more. Oh, so much! So much! Did it was you so much. Did you ever suck a kid off? And suck? no, it was never gay. Like in my mind, but like some of those dudes ended up. But it was never gay. gay in my mind. But yeah, just in his ass. <laughs> yeah, it was in my ass. No, but it was like dudes like taking their dicks out and the, yeah. like, all the time, and it was just like it was fun. little wrestling. We thought it was funny. 
Yeah, yeah. everybody's in the pool. A little frog. You got a little do a little fabric between you know sure. each other. That's the only thing dividing you and that yeah. other and also friend. Sort, sort of like the, the culture. Josh, maybe <laughs> the culture of like uh, punching someone in the balls is also yeah. like very strange. It's like yeah. destroying your friend's masculinity. Right. It was just like Damn, get way whoa, too. It dude. would get way too like carried away. Yeah. Like yeah. I was I was just saying talking about that this morning is thinking back to the the, the world Nut-taps. of sack tapping. Yep. Sack How tapping many times is I got fucking sack tapped. And yeah. It's like I don't want to participate in this. I know, dude. One I time, know who fucking came up with like I have to just like hold my lower abdomen for fucking thirty minutes one, because you dude, thought and, and you my don't friend know how Tommy to, how to be funny with words. Right. My friend Tommy got uh had to go like <laughs> he had to go to like the clinic, like the hospital because this kid <laughs> Dan Ravinsky took a half filled Nalgene on a carabiner and swung it and smashed his dick. And he, oh like, God! God. <laughs> it was, Did it it he break his cock? Them, well, no, he broke he broke his cock from the other from when we interrupted him masturbating. Wait a minute, oh this God. guy has multiple cock clinic. traumas. This guy went to a clinic and then later broke his dick. He broke his dick later that summer because ah. like, he was like masturbating in the room, and I told everyone else he was masturbating. They they opened the a window of him masturbating. He was like flat on the bed with like his socks. Uh, just wearing socks and like holding a, a okay, porn I'm, magazine. I'm trying to be professional here. Yeah, yeah, so sorry, sorry. He was let's like, not get so <laughs> amazing. That, you know anyway, what I mean? This is so, very uh, just we, in his socks. He opened the window. Everyone's like laughing at him. And it's, it's one of the meanest things I ever did was, is ratting on him. Yeah. And uh, he like was flat on the bed. Well, and he no, sort of, I mean, you've solicited sex traffic prostitutes. Yeah, you've heard prostitutes. That's pretty mean. It's not mean. It is mean. It's participating in a broken system okay. one <laughs> twice. That's what I I get people to fuck me by saying, "Will you participate in a, in broken, a broken system?" <laughs> That's literally the line I use. <laughs> oh. This is a broken system. <laughs> but will you systemically tune me up? Anyway, he like uh, he break his dick. He was flat on his back on this mattress, and he like saw he like did a double take. Everyone's laughing at him, and he like sort of his body just sort of levitated, and he like did a one eighty. And he just smashed his boner uh, into the mattress. This is rough. What happened? You were talking like, to the mic, you fucking sorry. Idiot. He just like smashed his boner into the mattress, and then like he started crying. And what? It broke. <laughs> did it break? Like, can he no, it didn't break. I mean, it like bent in. It was like an erection, ah, like bent in half. Is, he did is, a real sleep number. This is yeah, real yeah. rough. <laughs> all right, well, it was Holy horrible. Shit. But yeah, it was like all this like sort of homoeroticism. <laughs> a real sleep number. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what number breaks your cock? Yeah. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> you like to get rough one time um, uh, a kid who ended up playing left tackle for the Carolina Panthers yeah and that tapped me so hard I literally thought I shit one of my balls out of my ass because I had it was bloody like I, when I was shit. When I, I was a kid and I was walking on parallel bars on a playground set and I mm-hmm. fucking split uh, my fucking legs right on top metal parallel bars ouch uh, and I, I fuck slipped me. fell right down on the fucking fuck middle me. of them. I had to uh, run in the bathroom I thought I like popped one of my balls uh, uh, that was the most pain I've ever been in my life uh, uh, me and my friend ditched school once and we were just walking around the town yeah, yeah. my dad saw that and he just hopped out of his truck and just punched me in the face <laughs> and then got back <laughs> just straight up deaded me punched me in the face I fell down and my friend laughed so hard I was oh like you're so God. fucked up and then my friend's mother called me and this is like the town I grew up in it was just she called me and she's like yo your father did a great job with you will he come over and punch my son in the face oh I was like, my God. God. Barb Great God woman. damn what a cool culture Barb, a good- that was a great culture that was a culture back then people saw it People saw <laughs> my dad punch me in the face, and everybody looked at me like, "Well, you're a piece of shit." Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. nobody was like, "Why are you getting decked?" <laughs> everybody was like, "Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you got punched in the face." Well, there's probably a world in between child abuse and you know participation trophies. It's like a there happy is, medium. There is a happy medium somewhere. Yeah, I see yep. it smacked. Were you? Nice you were no, Adam was like gently reprimanded. Maybe he got you know. Pat- Adam was like, no, no, no my dad, my dad had like Jewish this, hit. this, uh, this like it was covered in leather. It was like a, a it's wooden a mask dowel with a, no, no, a ring like, where yeah. the mouth is. It was yeah. like my grandfather's. You would put it. Your gra- of course, it was your grandfather. It was my grandfather's <laughs> in World War Two. Yeah. 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 Had a swastika stitched in <laughs> yeah, the yeah. back of the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for shame. Yeah, my dad it was actually put a on an SS uniform. swastika, so you could only see it the right way <laughs> in the mirror. Dad would put on an SS, and he'd make me wear the pajamas. He's like, "It's the paja- it's pajama time," and I'd have to put on the stripy pajamas, <laughs> yeah. and we play Auschwitz. <laughs> yeah, he had a shower um. that when you turn it on, 
cum came out. <laughs> yeah. Poisonous <laughs> cum. What, did you, what was it a thing where he would hit you with? What was it? Like, no, it was like a it was like a uh, baton. Yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. my grand yeah. from yeah. World War II. His, yeah, his yeah. dad was really into rhythmic gymnastics. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his dad ran out of yeah, South yeah, Africa because yeah. his dad. If was... you fuck up this parallel bar routine, yeah. <laughs> you mother, you're yeah. gonna get. Show no, me your floor exercise. That's now. regular gymnastics. Rhythmic gymnastics is the one where they dance right with a gay ribbon. Yeah, yeah. The floor exercise, baby. So. Like I would actually prefer to get hit than like to get fucked with because your parents lie to you. They always fuck with you like mentally. Yeah. There was this one time like I remember really young. My dad, I like he was trying to punish me for getting a B on summer. Like they were like yeah. very demanding academically, whatever. So he made up this fake phone call. He sent me to timeout, and then he made up a fake phone call where he was he was faking a phone call where he was sending me to a boys' work camp. <laughs> oh, and then he's like, and he, my my dad's from South Africa, so he's like, okay, so Monday, uh, Monday, what? So what? What should we be bringing for his <laughs> vocational boys' work camp? And I'm like, you know, sitting in in my bedroom crying, like thinking I'm gonna have to be like a. A lab, like a you know, a child labor. Is that, is that your dream? Is being the counselor at a? Yeah, I was just about to say if, like, I was, if I was you, I'd be like, "Can I go now? <laughs> Do we have to wait till tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Can you drive me right now? How many guys will have to sleep with me in the bed?" And then, so he's like, my parents put me on swim team to make me like not gay, and it was just so when literally just naked, just dude, boys in bikinis. That was a bad. Yeah. My parents like, we got to get him into sports. You ever and, see? Uh, uh, you ever see the the Lifetime movie uh, Cyber? Seduction, his secret life. Wait, no, but who's in that? You told me about that. Yeah, I forget the actress that's in it. She, the the the, mo- the woman that plays the mom is the only one. That he's has a swimmer, it. right? He's, he's like so a, hot. He's, he's a swimmer. Who is it? Ryan Philippi or one of those guys? I can't remember. It's like one of those dudes. Yeah, and they the fucking uh, yeah. He's like a, a swimmer gets he lo- he fucks up his whole swimming career because he starts looking at porn, but it's never really porn. It's <laughs> right. just like girls in sweaters. Yeah, winking, yeah. You know? <laughs> and then, and then he stays up all night drinking energy drinks and like. Refreshing, beating off. refreshing yeah. images of the J.C. Penny catalog. Yeah. <laughs> never beating off, and then like they never even call it porn. Right. I don't think the mom's like, I can't believe our son is looking at those websites. Yeah, you know, or so whatever. Cool. <laughs> and then eventually he's like beaten up by like the coolest kid in school. Yeah, for looking, looking at porn. Yeah, it's just it's bizarre. <laughs> it's so funny how like it used to be like your parents were worried that you were online looking at porn. Now it's like they're worried that you're like on the Daily Stormer. <laughs> yeah, it's like a whole, it's like a whole different worry. It's like. Yeah, no, was he beating off? No, he's a white supremacist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, oh yeah, uh, yeah. But I never. But you, you weren't probably you weren't an internet kid at all, though, right? You don't. How old are you? Like, I'm you were. Old, you were a I'm drug 32. house. Kid. You're 32. Yeah, I wasn't like an internet kid. I was like, a, I would go on America Online and I would go on like AIM. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But like, I was hanging out. Like, I was doing blow at 12 and doing. I was yeah, hanging yeah. out at crack houses and driving to the Bronx and getting coke. And yeah, doing yeah, acid. yeah. Crack yeah. is a lot of fun, right? I've never smoked crack. I've free base cocaine. Okay, and I, I think that's a lot. of we fun. We just I can only imagine. <laughs> that's literally what uh, Evan just told us. Evan he, told Evan yeah, Williams yeah. was also free base cocaine. Yeah, the last step he was talking about it. Yeah. And he said it was uh, really good and really scary. And really- I mean, listen, man, none of it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's never great. <laughs> like a lot it's of it does have good. adverse effects. But when you were partying, you weren't even gay. Like you weren't even fucking, right? You no, I was just drugging. I was doing weird. Like I was later on. I kind of was, okay. but I was not. Uh-huh. I was like not. Oh, clearly not out. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. partying since I was twelve, thirteen. Yeah, like yeah. I was, so I wasn't fucking that. Oh right, right, right. My right. first, I got, I, 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 first virginity I lost with a girl was first year of college. Ooh, how was that? She would probably say it was not the greatest right, fuck right, ever. Right, right, right. It was fine, like, um, and then like uh, I was doing like in high school, I would like maybe do like weird stuff with dudes, but it wasn't like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it was like reasonable. Yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. was a kind of shit. Yeah, it's the stuff where I still feel like I could do with Adam now, and it wouldn't R- be gay. Right, right, right. Yeah, they yeah, talked yeah. themselves out of it ever happening. It wouldn't be gay. It'd be like sleepover wrestling. <laughs> oh, did your cock slip into my mouth? Yeah, like touching. Like yeah. it's funny to be naked. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Like, naked, that's a funny. funny bit. Yeah. yeah, is to be naked with people like your friend. That's hilarious. It's yeah. funny when Will Ferrell That's runs I go naked this, down I go the street in the bath old house school. Is yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's the best place to write comedy. Yeah. It's, it's the best place to write comedy. Oh, yeah. Some yeah, really funny stuff's like, happening Rus- over Russian, there. Russian uh, mobsters. Yeah. You, like, run bits by them, I go right? up and down, you know, the Jersey Turnpike, and I go in the, the truck stop restrooms. Yep. And oh, I, yeah. And I work on my craft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine, like, doing bits, like, through a glory hole. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Uh, what's be- the deal with <laughs> elevator music? <laughs> <laughs> Why did they get rid of elevator music? <laughs> 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 
I want it back. Stop it, please. Boom, 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 I told you. Suck on my dick. I'm gay. I told you that story that my friend Rylan told me about that glory hole guy in the South. So there's this like guy that's like says like an old fucking legend. I told no, I've told Nick. Well, he was a contemporary of Robert E. Lee. (laughs) (laughs) So there's this guy. They they called him Hole in the Wall Jack. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) this guy his like whole like give that a little bit more credit. Yeah, Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was very good. good. Sorry, 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 that was good. Um, Yeah, so this guy's like his whole issue and cause is glory holes, like shutting down glory holes. Shutting them down or shutting them down. Protecting them. So what what, he does tape? (laughs) No, no, he thinks like How big of a problem are glory holes in the South? (laughs) Like how inconvenient are they? In pornography stores and truck stops, they're really in this Bojangles restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So what he does is he entraps men going to use a glory hole by taking pictures of their penis when they put it into the glory <laughs> hole. And then, Are you and kidding? Then threatens them with those pictures and says, I'm going to send this to your family and then like blackmails them. This is but the he's weirdest clearly, fetish. Like, he's clearly yeah. Yeah, like somebody's yeah. going to be like, well, yep, that's my son's penis. <laughs> sure. That's my adult son's hard penis. <laughs> I would never yeah. mistake yeah. that. <laughs> I know, I've raised that dick. Yeah. But he's uh, clearly... I've breastfed that They like call their husband over like, is this Jimmy's cop? <laughs> but he's clearly like a, like a repressed gay guy. And he's, he's using yeah. like Christianity. Any dude who goes, "Hey, I'm a real Christian. Here's what I'm yeah, going to yeah, spend yeah. my life doing: yeah, right, yeah. right, right, photographing right. cops <laughs> coming <laughs> through glory holes. No, no, hey, right. that's <laughs> a real. That's a rough sell. No, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. a tough sell. <laughs> you know? And Rylan like, was telling me, that, you know, he literally <laughs> has... he just loves the minute that <laughs> mushroom head <laughs> pokes through the glory. That's the only time he feels alive, dude. He sees that pink tip crawling over. Over, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, but Rylan said he literally has trapper keepers filled with oh men's my cocks. God, are you and he's kidding? like, it's what, like baseball cards? Yeah. Like baseball yeah. cards. Like, like an in Encyclopedia Britannica of shafts. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's, by the way, you an eight and a half black cut for a Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, holographic I, charge. Did you see wives coming in to try to identify their yeah. husband's <laughs> cock? By the way, that guy just did that because he got caught at a glory hole one day. <laughs> and he's like, um, I'm here to oh, stop yeah. people being gay. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the Eichenwald Pete Townsend, like, yeah. oh, I was only downloading massive amounts of child pornography so I could complain about it. It was research. Well, yeah. I just love the idea that, like, I love the idea that that guy supposedly goes to some, like, conservative church where he's got to meet people and tell them what he does. Yeah, like, yeah, Listen course. to how I get these queers. Yeah. I take a photo of their cock yeah. as soon as it slides through the glory yeah. hole. I got thousands of them. You know he sucked at least eight dicks. You gotta. At that point. What are you going to do? You're there. You're there. You know what I mean? You know he's also had to appreciate a few dicks that went to the glory hole like, and he went. Yeah, even well, if he's not nice, gay. Yeah. Even if he's not gay, he has to go, hey, I got to be honest. Yeah. that's. A, I'm sure there's a few guys he didn't even take a photo. He's yeah, like, he's like <laughs> I got to be honest. I, I have nothing but respect for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? The heft. The heft so on that crazy. cock. Um, well, we're we're pretty much wrapped up. Yeah. Here. Um, that's okay. We got fucking uh, funny moms. <laughs> no, let up. Uh, let Tim plug his stuff first. Oh, ahead, oh thank you. Uh, very cool. Uh, TimDillonComedy dot com. You can sign up for the my mailing list. I do a show on a on a bus. Uh, things are going well, <laughs> and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. You can sign up for that if you want. I have a podcast called Tim Dillon's Going to Help. We also talk about yeah. Listen to that pedophile cults. Um, Ray Comps on there. Probably Ray the, Comps the on the there. Funniest voice in radio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He is a uh, you know and he does sound very like a cartoon bright. dog. He's like very, he can yeah, talk yeah. with the Federal Reserve for hours. Uh, as a homeless person, I, so. I really I, I like I I thought that he was like. You know, like he was, they had a disability. Oh, yeah. Well, he does. First, like, six, I'm sure he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the first six <laughs> Number months, one, I knew you're the not guy. wrong. Yeah. I, you know, he would see him at mics <laughs> yeah. and stuff. And then I would read on Facebook, and I'm like, is this his caretaker? He came, on my, my yeah, bus, yeah. <laughs> he came on my bus tour show, and like a bunch of people from, from my agency had come on the show. I was like, my agent, everything. Ray is just pouring Jack Daniels in coffee, and it's going all over him. <laughs> and like, he just walks up to my agent, and he goes, what's going on? <laughs> And I'm like, oh, dude, this is not just just sit down. Like, Ray um, fucking rules, yeah. man. He's yeah, he's awesome. But I'll be I'll be at Side Splitters in Tampa, oh, last nice. Boston, January. When are you at Side Splitters? Uh, I, I, Tampa in January, like oh, I in think. January. Okay, okay. And then I'll I'll be, be uh, this weekend. 
Laugh Boston. I'll be at uh, in uh, New Hampshire at Shaskeen Pub and then Portland, Maine. So TimDillComedy.com has got all those dates. Yeah, Tim's funny as shit. Listen to his shit. Um, yeah, definitely. Thanks for coming on. Thank you guys for yeah. having me. We, we, we tried the first it. time. You, like the, you, we, It was like a year ago, and my agent took me to an ice cream museum. Yes, I remember, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah Stav was like, you fat fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you went to the, you <laughs> didn't let me live it down. You're like, yeah. you got here. I mean, you're posting about shit. it. You're doing fucking yeah. stories and I don't even. I think I lied. I was like, I'm sick. You lied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went to like. Though. And then, like, I sat in a big, like, tub of sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, I took Even the picture and sent it to you. Yeah, it's like, that's gross. Um, yeah. Fuck, yeah. I don't know what that noise was. That was horrible. Yeah. Um, all right, we got Funny Moms uh, coming up on November 27th. Uh, the Monday after Thanksgiving. I'm going to be in Baltimore the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, the 22nd, at Sidebar. Uh, come out to that. And I will also be in Cleveland at Hilarities Sunday, the 3rd of December. And I got a show in motherfucking Boston the 16th of December. So come out to those. And uh, we also have the big show, Come Town Live in D.C., the Christmas Spectacular, on the 22nd. Of December. Of December. At the at Black, the Black Cat. Cat in D.C. And ticket, the ticket link will be going up Should soon. Be up, a lot yep, of people yep, have yep. asked. I'm doing spots now? again. I'm at the stand occasionally. Hell yeah. Shout out to the yeah, stand. Nick's, Nick's Nick is back. back in it. I'm back, baby. <clears throat> uh, Shout out to the stand. Great club. Yeah. No, they're good, man. I Fucking, love that club, seriously. Yeah, they're great. Patrick's a good dude for putting me up. Yeah. Knowing that I will bomb. He like, hooks it up 90% big time. of the time I'm there. I never uh, do well there. But. You did great really? the other night. You keep saying that. You're you too fine. much in your head. Man. I think, no, this you week really it, was, did good. it was okay, but yeah. usually it's it's a rough go of it. Yeah, and I know this is also coming up uh, going up on Sunday, but thanks to everyone that came out uh, to Funny Moms this week. It was a really good one. This oh, week. yeah, it was a great yeah. show. Thanks, and, guys. And Brandon uh, didn't bomb, so that's, that was... Yeah, it was the first time Brandon didn't completely bomb at the show. He was doing other people's material, so I don't know. It's kind of a... You know, a wash. But uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. Check Bang. out Tim's shit. Goodbye.